Throwing a woman into a pool during a party is being punished by being held on home detention. That's until his next court appearance and the woman seen thrown in the pool. And that video there is upset with the judge's decision tonight. Local 10 News reporter Andrew Perez live now from North Lauderdale with reaction from both sides. Andrew. And the victim feels that the punishment so far has just kind of been a slap on the wrist. She was telling me that he basically attacked her right at the community pool. She was surrounded by hundreds of young people. I want what's just and what's right. Nancy James reacting after a judge made his decision, allowing 16 year old Leon Balford Joseph here to remain on home detention until his next court date. He can go to school and church, but he can also continue playing travel basketball with his team. That should not be allowed. That's that's a privilege. I would like to see him learn a couple of lessons of life without, you know, his own pillow and comforter at night. This is when the two first met at a pool party over the weekend. That's Nancy James with her dog saying the music was too loud at her apartment complex pool. Suddenly, Joseph just grabs her. He falls, but he keeps on going, dragging her all the way to the pool. He's a good kid. It's an unfortunate situation, but I think with time, it'll it'll pan out and you get to see the real kid for who he is. Joseph's lawyer says his client is an A and B student and that this isn't who he is. James is recovering. You see plenty of bumps and bruises. She says she feels bad for the teen's family, but says he needs to learn his lesson the hard way. Now, James says that she does appreciate that this teen's mother encouraged him to turn himself in in the first place. He's expected back in court June 5th. We're live in North Lauderdale. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. Andrew